Tokate started after World War I um, to carry on the spirit of Talbot House, which was set up in Belgium for rest and relaxation of the frontline troops. And the people who had stayed there in that house wanted to continue the spirit of Tokate and service the community. In the 1920s, the Tokate movement came to Australia and we've been running camps for kids here in South Australia since the 1930s. Stock H Camp is basically about um, providing kids who have had it, having a hard time at school or at home an opportunity to have a, a bit of a break over the school holidays. It's a chance for their parents to have a bit of respite and for them to have a bit of respite from their parents or just their life at home or at school. Um, it's a chance for them to meet uh, new friends and sort of uh, work in a new environment, you know, have a positive experiences, learn a few new things, make some friends, try out some new things. Ride bikes, scooters, and trampolining, volleyball, arts, craft, everything really. I first heard about the Talk H camping program through an email that was sent out when I was at uni. I'm an education student, or I've graduated now, but I was an education student. Um, and uh, it was just an email that, that came out that said, uh, come along to a camp, it'll look good on your resume. That was how I got involved. As part of Talk H, I started off as a leader. So like helping out with activities and like with the kids. And as I've grown, like had more experience, I've become a group leader. So. There's a specific group of kids that I'm usually in charge of and like there's a few leaders in my group that will help me out with stuff if I ask them. I was involved with the camps in other ways besides being um, a volunteer leader. Um, before that I was helped with a bit of the planning and things um, a couple of years ago when my friends were involved as leaders and since then I've been on um, probably my, my third camp. A lot of the people that come as volunteers are teachers or like training to be teachers and we say that we're like learning to like use the teacher voice. Dan has the teacher voice, like we're really jealous of it. I get a real sense of satisfaction working with the kids here at Toc H. I, um, I work with kids through education as a teacher but it's not quite the same. Giving children an opportunity they haven't been able to have before is it's just something a little bit different. I enjoy being here on, on site and it's a really relaxed atmosphere but I, most of all I just enjoy working with the kids. The skills I've learnt being a, a volunteer was working with children. I hadn't had much experience working with children before Tog H, I was kind of like thrown into it. But I've, I've learnt how to relate to them, I've learnt how to design activities for them, how to work with them, how to help them through things. I've learnt a little bit more about how they think, what goes through their minds. And it's also enhanced my natural ability to organise things and plan things, you know, that's, that's a strong part of what I do. For many of our leaders it's really an opportunity to take um, a role of responsibility which a lot of us, um, being university students and part-time work, really don't get a chance to do that real leadership role. You have to be a role model to these kids and you really get a chance to do all the kinds of, you know, leadership activities of delegation planning. Um, the other thing of course would be just looking at the kids and the way that they respond to being in all these new activities like today we had a kid um, who's never ridden a two-wheel bike before and um, for him today it was the first time chance to get on one of the you know big grown-up bikes and go up and down this little slope and you know he's gaining new skills um, and I'm gaining new skills and it's great. Volunteering for Toc H has, has brought me um, some experience that I, I didn't get as part of my university degree and because I was doing it while I was at uni I was able to apply lots of things that I was learning at the time and go okay no that doesn't work for me, do something completely different. And it's a lot of fun for the volunteers as well as the kids, I mean you know all those things that you enjoyed doing as a kid you can do again, you know you can play cricket, you can play football. We catch up outside of Toc H a lot because we do form really good friendships. Today I'm giving up a day of paid work to do this and I'm sitting here thinking to myself this is so much more rewarding, I'm being challenged more, I'm forced to use my brain more, um, I'm forced to use every skill, I'm really being challenged much more than I would be in everyday life and that's, that's why I think Toc H can really benefit everyone. To volunteer with Toc H you just need to sign on to our website and fill out the application form.